what is up zero game my name is Cesaro Vlogs, and today we are going to be reacting to Umbrella Alpha. She is the newest DLC character for Skull, Skullgirls Second Encore. Uh, I have no idea who this character is. I know they said that she was in like the beta when the game very first came out. Like, what is the game called? Like in 2004, 2005. But to me, she's a new character. She seems like she likes uh, ice cream and she has some type of parasite umbrella. Uh, she looks pretty unique. I know she has to do something with parasol. But I don't know if that's a little sister, I'm not really sure, but she does seem like a pretty interesting character. I don't know what to expect from this character. The only thing I've ever seen this character, she just swung her, uh, what is that, an umbrella? A demonic umbrella at someone. Um, that's the only thing I've ever seen her. So I don't have no idea what her moves are going to be, but we're going to find out right now. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call YouTube. And uh, as you guys can tell, I got back from the gym, but I wanted to react to this as soon as possible as I found out about it. So uh, let's see what her new moves are. I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion on this character, and uh, yeah, let's watch it, guys. Okay. Combo heavy character. Very tiny hitbox. Hold on, we gotta, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we watch this reaction, we gotta make my, my head way smaller. I wanna see exactly what this little small character's doing. We gotta see exactly what's going on in here. We gotta see what's going on here, man. Let's see what the character does. She seems to be a combo heavy character. Yeah, Parasol, Big Sister, something like that. Has full screen throws, okay. She can glide. Got cross ups. Yeah, she's gonna be a nuisance. She's gonna be a nuisance. I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts. Alright, guys, she comes out in August, so, um, yeah, I guess she comes out this month. So, yeah, I mean, she seems like a pretty cool character. I can't really, uh, say anything really bad about her. She's like a pretty cool character. Very small hitbox is gonna be very, very annoying, but she seems to be a kind of a, a um, what's the word? I guess a rush down character, but she seems to be kind of like, you know, she seems to be able to take her time. Like she could probably annoy you with the full screen throws and whatnot, right? And then you get annoyed, you come to her, that's what she wants anyway. She's like kind of like one of those type of characters where she'll just constantly just, you know, trying to grab you constantly, like, oh, this is so annoying. You're trying to get in, right? That's what she wants anyway, right? Maybe she might have a hard time getting in herself, but once you're actually like point blank, it seems like she's a character that's either full screen or point blank. It seems like she's mid range, at least from her moves, especially she doesn't really have anything to hit you with, because she seems to have very, very, uh, you know, small hit boxes and stuff like that. Uh, hurt boxes, hit boxes, everything seems really small. Maybe some of her heavy attacks, she hits you with the umbrella. But other than that, I mean, look at her little arms, her little legs, right? So I don't think she's gonna have a lot of range. It just seems like she's just gonna be full screen or point blank. That seems like it's gonna be her strategy. Annoying you from full screen, you get in, that's what she wants. You know, she's gonna be a very unique character, man. I think that uh, Squirrel Girl, they're doing awesome with their DLC so far. I absolutely love Annie. I literally got back into Skullgirls because of Annie. Annie's a very cool character to me. I think this is, a, this is a cool character as well. So I'm definitely going to be uh, playing this character. But uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this character is cool? Uh, do you guys kind of know the lore of this character? If so, you guys can tell me in the comments below. But yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with this. Some of the best DLC this year has come from Skullgirls. So that's my opinion. But what do you, you guys opinion? What do you guys think about this entire thing? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys are just trying to be sure, like, subscribe and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call youtube but uh without further ado that's gonna be it for the video remember i'm not arrogant i'm just confident and thank you for watching